tell me that was gonna rain and I was gonna have technical difficulties getting those wheels off but now we got him in the truck so I'll do a proper intro in a minute How's it going YouTube? You've seen a few clips before. Finally got a chance to make a proper intro. Uh, probably seen me change clothes like three or four times already. Uh, not that many times. But anyway, uh, like I said, Stan, um, we got the wheels in the truck. I'm about to unload them. But basically I got new front tires. Uh, I went back with the Goodyear Supercar F1, Supercar 3 F1s, uh, factory size and everything like that. Um, just want to give a shout out to my good buddy Greg. He actually uh, mounted the tires on. Uh, we couldn't film at his job. I wanted to be respectful and make sure we didn't have any issues so I could always go back if I need his help again. But he had his 1LE up there. And that's the yellow 1LE. If you click at the link down below that says Hostile 6 Gen, um, that's him. It's supercharged, Vortex Supercharger. We were changing the oil in it, and that thing's a beast. Got up under it, checking it out looking at where he's going to put his meth kit stuff like that man i love that stuff so shout out to greg i appreciate your help man but like i said we're going to get these wheels and tires unloaded and um after we do that we're going to give them a quick wash down clean them up a bit and then just throw them on the car and you watching those clips before i know you're probably thinking like first of all i just want to say yes i was in my uniform i literally just got off from from drill so any of you guys who are like pro, super pro military and mad that I was wearing my uniform and I was working on my car, uh, first of all, I just got from home from doing my obligation, as well as that uniform, I'm supposed to work in it. So it's okay, you don't have to overreact or have a heart attack. That uniform is made to work in. That's its sole purpose, to do that type of work in. So it's okay guys, I promise. But then, like I said, uh, if you watched it, I was having a hard time. Uh, the driver's side wheel was almost fused to the hub. Um, I guess I torqued the 
uh, lugs down pretty good last time I messed with the wheels and tires because they were on there phenomenally. Of course, I already had the wheel jacked up. My impact battery was almost dead, so it wasn't working that great. So just all types of technical difficulties when you see me taking off those uh, wheels earlier. But like I said, this should go a lot smoother. I'm going to fix that little hub issue probably, and we'll get them back on. And I'll give you a few more updates. So I figured I'd show you guys the difference in the wheels and tires. Well, just the tires I got. My biggest issue with the set I had was just like if you look at this one, you got this inside section that still has a groove, but then you look at mine, the whole groove's gone. I can kind of see the shadow of it coming through, but I don't think it's coming through on the camera. But it looks like I had a toe-in issue with either my alignment got out of whack or something, but my alignment's good now. I'm probably going to get it realigned soon since I'm going to put these new tires on and it's been hanging in the air like a monster truck for the last few days so we'll get it realigned but like I said I just wanted to show the tread show the difference and like I said that was my biggest issue right there especially as far as like turning not that I want to drive the car in the rain but this outside edge is gonna <laughs> save me in some of those situations so I gotta have it So good stuff guys, just took the car out on the road. Wheels, uh, tires felt pretty good. Me and Greg had to figure out some things. Mainly Greg had to figure out some things on how to balance it, uh, balance the wheels and tires. But that's what I wanted to test. Just took it out for a spin. They felt good, no vibration. So I'm happy with that. Like I said, this was really just for peace of mind. When I took it out there, uh, the roads were wet. It just had like a real light shower out here. So the roads were wet. And I was hitting the turns, not hard at all, but just trying to fill it out. No movement in the car whatsoever, so I'm happy about that. Uh, these birds are just out here in the outdoors, living life and just destroying the audio of my video. But anyway, like I said, uh, car felt pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it's another step. I have parts on the way, but they just haven't seemed to make them here yet. I'm not really sure where they're at, so I'll look into that. See if I can figure out what's going on with that. Once I get those particular parts, we'll have another install video. 
but in the meantime luckily for me we can cruise on over here like I told you guys in the last video I have my 4L80 my 4L80 is here with me at home and fortunately for the truck over there we got the quote for basically the build and everything that I want to do to the truck really top end wise but we'll get into that in another video but like I said for our lady is here it's here for its purpose which is to be put in it's gonna be put in soon and like I said guys uh, I have more install videos the truck build is about to start real soon I'm extremely excited with that and look at this look at this quality of just meat and tire just on this beautiful wheel but like I said we'll have some more install videos coming here shortly I appreciate you guys for watching as always subscribe to the channel give me a thumbs up thumbs up help me a lot uh, if you like this video like I said subscribe drop a comment I love talking to you guys and communicating with you so everybody have a good day and thank you for watching